Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Exodus chapter 14 verse 14. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, as always we come before you in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The name that we hallow and is to be hallowed. The holy name that you have given us in this earth in which we must be saved by and we acknowledge this dear lord because you have given us knowledge and wisdom and understanding of all of what you have done for us and not only just in these latter days but from the beginning of time you have given us the knowledge wisdom and understanding of how faithful you are to those who you love those who you have chosen those who you have set apart and dear lord we ask that we remain in your company, that we be the set apart ones of this generation, your church, your people, your first love, dear Lord, and that we likewise acknowledge this and remain in this truth, dear Lord, not deviating at all, nor becoming wavering in our mind if you are faithful or not wavering in our mind if we should choose you or choose the world let nothing like this be in us dear lord but let us totally totally be conformed to your image first and foremost but totally be in your in the faith of and the trust that you are the god almighty and you are the god of creation you are the God that saves. And dear Lord, yes, we still live in this world and we have things to do because yes, we 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 have things to do in here. Um <laughs> we don't just sit down. But I just pray that everything that we do, we are doing according to your will, and that we are not in our minds becoming taken away with the cares of this life. We want to walk circumspectly. We want to walk with wisdom. As I said, we can be in this world, but we shouldn't be of this world. And this is one key thing we need to remember in this life, in this walk. Because even you, Lord Jesus Christ, showed us that even though you were in this world, it was like you, you wasn't even, your mind was solely um, in heavenly places. It was always looking... And teaching us those things which would lead unto salvation. So dear Lord this is what I ask sincerely. That you just keep us on that straight and narrow path. Especially seen these days dear Lord. There's so much distractions. There's so much things there to take us away from serving you. There's so much things that the devil has put in place. And his narrative has been played out from the beginning of time. His narrative to deceive the world. But those who know you, I just pray that we remain in your truth and that we are not overcome with deception, but that we abide in the truth. And as I said, the, tr the, sh the truth shall set us and make us free, dear Lord. So the tests and trials of life, no matter how they come, they might come in big um, doses or they might come subtly. Every test and trial, dear Lord, we want to pass first time around 100%. We, we, don't, we don't want a 99%, we don't want a 99.9%, .9%, we want a 100% pass on these tests and trials. This is what we ask. Some of us, and most of us may fall short, but even where we fall short, let us retake that test so we can get the merit, <laughs> get the merits and the credits from those tests, dear Lord. And as always, that accumulatively we are passing everything because, yes, we know we can't do it of ourselves, but we have our confidence that we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. This is our prayer this morning, dear Lord, not just for us, but for every single person that love you. Well, and for all the children of the world. I just pray that this be our prayer and our petition forever and ever. And dear Lord... I just want to pray that as always you lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning to the glory of God our Heavenly Father. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 
All right. So Exodus fourteen fourteen says, "Thou shalt." The, sorry, the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Amen. And one other version said, "You only need be still." Right. And um, last I think yesterday and day before we've been in the Old Testament, right? And um, I said these scriptures were written for our learning, for our understanding, for those things that can help us to just acknowledge who we serve because god is from everlasting to everlasting right he has been amongst us amongst all generations right because he created all things and um this chapter dealt with the exodus of israel from egypt the actual part when they were um moving through well coming out of the land they came out of the land and they were they were to escape right from from egypt and when i read this I always i can't remember when i read the bible i like picture my people right so jamaican people when i read it so i sometimes I, I i translate transliterate what i'm reading like in my head in patwa right because we, we speak um creole patwa in jamaica and there was one point where the people them like would have been saying like Moses, where you, I'm gonna say in Jamaican, where you bother, where you what, where you bother take me out of Egypt for you? Not say we did all right in Egypt, I better we just stay in Egypt, so we never get killed. Eh? We never ask you for take me out of Egypt. Kinda did, look a bit ungrateful, but we can kinda understand, right? We're not saying it was right, but I understand like they didn't fully trust God, they fully didn't acknowledge. That God is the Lord God Almighty. Even though he did all of the ten um, plagues in Egypt. There was still a bit of unbelief in them. Right? And God had at this time of, of time. Right? This age. Um, God wanted to show who he was. Right? And this was a light thing for God to rescue them out of Egypt. Easy. Right? God could have, if in his power, just could have cast out all egypt like just let them perish in a moment of time but he did all of this like just for our learning so that it can be written right and um when he said they only need be still it's, it's like guys calm like calm all the way down right just 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 be, don't just calm down <laughs> just calm down right and um i'll deliver you i will saw where god if you read the chapter we saw that the the Israel, the people of Israel did nothing really. They never fought Egypt, the Egyptians. They never had to do nothing, right? Yeah, all they had to do was walk, pretty much, right? That's all they had to do. And I said, go and read the chapter for yourself. And I was thinking on this this morning that, to be honest, all of us get caught in this situation sometime when. We can't see the way forward. We just can't see it. We, everything in life so, look a bit too daunting. Like we, that we can't see any means of escape. But God really is just saying, just be still. Just calm down. Be still. I am still God here. I still love you. I am still will deliver you. Don't worry about what you see with your eyes. I am able to deliver you out of all um, tribulation right all tests these are things are to test you just test you uh, that you, you, you have faith in me that you trust me right you just need to be still hold your peace and just persevere walk forward that's all i want you to do that's what god wants us to do just continue on that straight and narrow path following in the footstep of jesus christ right and as we know we have salvation already but as i said i hold my hands up these these things are things that we have to be pushing into and, and and meditating on because as i said sometimes we, for, we just forget things and as i said these things are written so we know we read these stories and we are yeah moses and god take out and um deliver the people out of e egypt and all of these we, we read these things and it just becomes like a story like a fantasy like something like just yeah like a screenplay but this was actual history right and as i said it just goes to show us that the lord god 
is faithful. He's more than capable of delivering us out of all our afflictions. And it said, he would fight for us and we only need be still and hold our peace. And I'm going to leave it at that this morning. Good little story to remember and read again. Um, anything that you want to share, you can drop in the comment section or you can send it to the word at eachreach1.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone. And God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.